a very good morning all of you myself rupali nanekar dasaraju from department of biotechnology students last lecture we were talking about the classification of nutraceuticals now we will talk about the diseases and what is the importance of nutraceuticals so today the first topic which we have is about the hypoglycemia now let's see what is this now hypoglycemia if you see on your screen that is going to represent about the low blood glucose now you know already that we have lot of people in india or all over the world which are facing the issues for the high blood glucose level as well as low blood glucose level hypoglycemia is one of the condition where you have low blood glucose sugar which has been termed as hypoglycemia we also have hyperglycemia where the level of sugar is very high which is be very predominant type 2 diabetes we also have the classification of hypoglycemia where we talk about the type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes when your body glucose drop down below the healthy which is around 80 or 100 before or after but is after your lunch you have 120 or below that that is where the condition lies that is low blood glucose level when this kind of condition happens first of all many of the people they have this lower reading below 70 so at that condition it has been considered as hypoglycemia on your screen you can see the glucose level which is trying to talk about hypoglycemia where the white color which represents the sugar is very less if you consider the normal sugar level the even distribution is been sent or seen on your blood vessels or in your blood glucose level as well as hyperglycemia can you see the difference there is lot of sugars in this so this is what is three different conditions where you have hypoglycemia normal level of your sugar and you have hyperglycemia so today we are going to talk about the hypoglycemic condition as i told you the level is below 70 this is common in the people where type 1 diabetes is been seen where you have low blood glucose also sometimes type 2 diabetes people can also have type 1 because they are on the insulin shots so that time also their level of glucose can drop down and they can result in the condition of hypoglycemia let's come to the next part that who is more likely to develop this blood glucose condition for example if if you study about the global population itself there is lot of people which can have this below or above the older age of 65 you can also have a very blood a uh, lot of other health issue problems such as you can have kidney stone heart disease congenital impairments other students uh, other kind of health problems can also impart a, a, a low blood glucose level it has also been seen that type 2 diabetes people they report low blood sugar event at least once over a four week period why because i am telling this because this people are tend to have the kind of insulin for reduction of their over kind of glucose in their body so four in five people can have type 1 diabetes answer in that you can also have type 2 diabetes people getting type 1 diabetes so this is again a condition which you can see let's come to the other one what are the symptoms if you are in a area where your symptoms are like you get dizziness light headed confused irritable uh, you are not having a steady kind of state you have lot of headaches you are having hungerness you can see the symptoms on your screen hypoglycemia shaking and trembling you can have faster heart rate impairment in that extreme hunger you can have lot of hungers after having one hour you will again feel hungry we have lot of situations we do feel hungry but that is not the conditions this is an impairment and one of the symptoms you can see in hypoglycemia sweating too much of sweating you will feel that you are sweating a lot other than summers also you feel like sweatiness that is one of the symptom of your hypo glycemia you will have confusion not able to concentrate properly you will have dizziness you will feel like uh, okay i am going to fall down you will not have a proper balance that is what is the symptoms of your low blood glucose level usually 
a uh, lot of people get dizziness when they have a very drop in their glucose level so doctors such as take glucon d have some chocolate at that period of time when you have very low glucose level so hunger tiredness dizziness you can have headaches also you cannot speak properly and clearly that will be in the extreme condition because you have a very low glucose level the organs are not able to work properly that is also one of the symptoms severe hypoglycemic person can have a dangerous kind of conditions and they required right right treatment at that point what are the complication prolong hypoglycemia if you have it is life threatening that can have multiple organ failure because the glucose is not reaching to your body second thing cardiac arthritis which is nothing but improper heart beats your heart rate will not be proper the electrical impulses will not be proper so again that is a complication due to low blood glucose level you can also have cardiac arrest nowadays there are lot of young generations below 30 they are been reported to have lot of cardiac kind of disorders and they are getting at a very early stage heart attack so some of the complication underlying the low blood glucose level is your life threatening kind of thing like multiple organ failure cardiac arrhythmias and cardiac arrest next other than that you can also have brain damage you can go to coma you can also lead to death because glucose is as far important as that of in a control concentration you neither required a very high or you neither required a very low concentration but it should be in the equal amount in your body that is the average range you can not able to have operating a very heavy equipment when you are driving that could be a life threatening kind of event you are not able to have balance because you get confused at that time you may also likely to get an accident if you have a complication of low blood glucose level so it is very important to consider that at your this kind of condition avoid driving second thing why we want nutraceutical in hypoglycemia there are lot of vegetables lot of fruits lot of other kind of nutraceutical products which are been commended for hypoglycemia person as well as there are fruits and vegetables and polyphenols or other carotenoids and other vitamin d component or other examples which are been given to reduce type 2 diabetes also and which are been having the property of type 1 kind of your diabetes reductions so let's see what is the first one carotenoid day to day life lot of fruits and vegetables have this pigment which is naturally occurring this is one of the abundant type of pigment which has been seen in human diet alpha carotene beta carotene you have lutein you have this level in the higher serum and plasma of your alpha and beta are been also associate to lower your incidence so again i want to highlight that type 1 and type 2 diabetes uh, person like diabetes mellitus or diabetes insipidus these people can have fruits and vegetable rich in carotenoids so nutraceuticals again play a very important role over here other than that they are trying to see the lowering the risk of your type 1 diabetes mellitus in the presence of dietary intake if you are having a very good dietary intake of your fruit and vegetables your high level of serum with the carotenoid such as alpha beta lutein uh beta cyclohexanthin this can help us to lower your diabetes so again this is a very important role of your nutraceutical can you see on your screen lot of foods vegetable having pigments yes on day to day basis we can have your a uh, pumpkin you can have chopped red tom bell peppers papaya tomatoes tomatoes are used in indian household very much onions are been used you have carrots you can also have apricots okay you can have mango right now we have mango season also which is going so this could be packed food a packed food in sense nutritional packed and that could help us to reduce the diabetes next vitamin d vitamin d supplements can also benefit you all 
this is going to be one of the uh, what you can say a very kind of treatment which can help for the significant improvement of entire patient health the health of the patient can be completely improved where your physical health your lipid metabolism your leptin level your inflammatory intake your mental health all will be improved if you are consuming vitamin d kind of treatment or supplements vitamin d is been suggested by doctor once in a week a four uh, day a four week kind of course can be very beneficial for the reduction you can also have vitamin b3 this vitamin b3 is been showing to have a protective effect and capabilities against the destruction of pancreatic beta cells so type 1 diabetes risk can also be reduced if you are trying to also have vitamin b3 you can see on the screen so again i am repeating vitamin d and vitamin b3 can play a very significant role in your reduction let's come to the next part this vitamin can also be in helping for dna repair enzymes so this enzymes plays a very important role again nutraceutical components if you talk about they are one of the natural foods that can be taken orally we can take it on day to day basis and this food instead of taking medicines as i told you if your diet is proper you required no medicines so that was our first lecture take away when we were talking about classification of nutraceuticals so this kind of nutraceutical rich foods or the component can prevent certain diseases like type 1 and type 2 diabetes can you see the sources of vitamin d yes we have lot of we have the sources lot of sources of vitamin d we have berries we have dairy products we have lean protein we have whole grains this has been dedicated for specifically type 1 diabetes people probiotics last lecture also we were talking about the probiotics prebiotics how they can be a beneficial part next plate method diet nowadays we take lot of things in our diet but we don't know the proportion so for that one of the way to start the dietary plan for diabetes is plate method diet in this we should have non starchy vegetables a 9 inch plate which should be filled with half of the plate with non starchy vegetables it could be broccoli it could be sprout it could be cabbage you can have lot of colors the better the color your plate is the more is your beneficial your plate for eating is non starchy vegetables can have lot of vitamins and minerals they do not affect your original blood glucose sugars so that could be a beneficial so your 9 inch plate where half of the plate should be there with vegetables but here we do it ulta we always have more rice more rotis or chapatis and we try to avoid dal pulses your vegetables your salad that has been ignored but your plate should be full with vegetables and non starchy vegetable i'm trying to highlight the word non starchy because that is going to be again starchy food will be a problem for diabetes patient the next step is that your plate should also have proteins the proteins and lower in the fat that is very important so the last quarter of your plate or the last next step for the quarter plate is the plate with protein followed by that the last quarter of your plate could have yogurt buttermilk milk grains beans a smaller proportion if you take too much of carbohydrate that carbohydrate can affect your blood glucose sugar and that we don't want to do either you are having type 1 diabetes or you have type 2 diabetes both the way it is going to affect so according to the condition we need to vary our diet and the plate method diet so in today's lecture we talked about what is hypoglycemia what are the condition who are been suffering what are the uh, kind of symptoms you can see and what are the dietary contents you can have out of it i hope so you have cleared with the disease and the association of nutraceuticals in that next lecture we are going to talk about the ulcers and what are the nutraceutical importance thank you so much we will meet in the next lecture